All right, and I'm speaking with Desmaine Cousin, and the name of the company is Kingdom Wear Garments. Yes. And uh, your website is kingdomapproved.com, and you're the owner and CEO, and you're in Greensboro, North Carolina, here in the U.S. Yes. And um, the motto of your company or the slogan is a unique generation born with a divine purpose. Yes, I, I love that. Why don't you tell us? Now, I understand you got the idea while you were, where you were at a conference and a concert with Ty Tribbett, and it, he made some comment about the kind of clothing the young people were wearing, about it being negative or something. Where did you get the idea? Well, like I said, the idea, it came from going to this conference back in 2006. Mm -hmm. And Ty Tribbett, he was talking about how the teens, how they wear clothing, they carry spirits. Mm. So God, he was dealing with me after I left that conference to do clothing that would give him glory. Mm. Well, that's a good point. But your background, your background, you you were involved in sports like a lot of young people, and um, you don't have that fashion ba uh, industry uh, background in your in your family or anything. So. Where did you get the idea for the clothing? I and mean, where did the designs come from? Well, I say I've always looked up at Russell Simmons. You know, once I become, became business-minded, uh -huh. once the guy did, gave me this idea. So I started looking at other successful entrepreneurs. And Russell Simmons was someone that I thought was similar, you know, to the ideas of fashion. Mm -hmm. So he was someone that I, I looked up too far as the fashion industry. Okay. And like you, like you said, I did play sports. I played basketball. Okay. But it was just something, I just felt it was something else that I was called to do. Okay. Now, do you do, you do the drawing yourself? Do the ideas just come to you and then you just sit down and start drawing? Or do you get other people's ideas? Or how does that work for you? Usually it's just my ideas. A lot of times, like I'm in school, so a lot of times, I would get the ideas while I'm in, in class. Mm -hmm. I'd just be sitting there and you know drawing out ideas. Different things would come to me, and I would I would actually draw out the ideas, the concepts of my clothing. Okay. Um, what I thought about when I first read your story and went to your website was how many thousands of young people were at that concert, and what did you think their impression was of his comment. Do you think they took it to heart? I mean, you walked away with a business idea, but what do you think the general um, opinion was when he, when he said that? I would say a couple of people may have t taken it to heart and really thought about it. Mm -hmm. But then again, it, it's more so a spiritual battle. So I believe a lot of people, they just brush it off their, so off their shoulders. Mm -hmm. So I what they did. Yeah. So when you create these designs and put them on the clothing, you're trying to get their, what, you, what impact are you trying to make? We're trying to create a, a positive impact. Mm -hmm. A lot of these ideas are inspired by God. Mm -hmm. The designs that I may have, they may, you know, come from, you know, biblical stories. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how did you figure out the first step. I mean, a lot of people, and I talk to people almost every day that have all of these great ideas, but they never actually write it into a business plan. They never really pursue it other than, I call it like they have a little toy chest in their mind, a little toy box in their mind, and they take these ideas out every now and then, and they play around with them, and they put them back in the little box. <laughs> Yeah. And, you know, but you you took the idea, you took what he said to heart. That's the first thing. And, yeah. you know, the fertile soil of your heart. You took it to heart, and then God started to give you this inspiration of the designs to put on the clothing. But you have to you have to step out and, and do some practical things, like develop a plan and get, and get going with it. So what was your first step? I would say my first step was, of course, a business plan. I did a lot of brainstorming and a lot of research. And you said that Russell Simmons was, what did you take away from from him being an example for you as far as the fashion industry was concerned? Well, I looked at how he's a mogul, mm -hmm. where he 
where he had many many businesses. Mm-hmm. But he he used his music as the core of it. But he had other other avenues. Okay. So you felt that if he could do it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. If if he could do it, you could do it. And he used a lot of different ways to reach out through the music and also through. He's got. A, you're right. He's got a lot going on then he started with the music but yeah he went into a lot more now did you how did you find um a company to to put your designs on as far as the clothing is concerned and you sell through your website right yes ma'am i would i would say through networking okay yes ma'am i do a lot of net a lot of networking and that's, that's actually how that happened that's really important. I'm glad you said that because a lot of people who have um, websites or do a lot of work online or have businesses online don't realize you still have to get out there and meet people. You still have to connect with people. Um, and I assume um, a lot of people through your church? Yes, ma'am. Okay, give us, a, give us an understanding also about, um, you mentioned in your bio that your grandmother the late Peggy cousin Hedrick was a role model for your life. How was she an influence on you? Yes, ma'am, she really was. My grandmother, she was someone that was very compassionate for the people, hurting people, and she was someone that always gave out. Even if it was the last, she would always give out. So she, she, she's really someone that helped, and helped push me to where I am now. Mm. Now, your quote that says that your daily quote is, character is greater than being self-centered. Is that something that you learned from your grandmother? Yes, ma'am, but also through my life experiences, you know, dealing with different people. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen how people treat other people. Mm. So I'm learning how, as God opened up doors for me, I have to learn how to stay humble. Mm. Because that can take you a long way. That's a good point. That's an excellent point. Now, when you, like I said before, your family wasn't in the fashion industry, so you had to do a lot of networking. You had to do a lot of research. Um, what was the response when you started telling people about your idea? Were they supportive? Um, what happened with that? Were they surprised? <laughs> yes, ma'am. A lot of people were surprised because, like I said early on, I, I've always played sports, you know, football, baseball, basketball so it was it was it was a shock to a lot of people because a lot of people just knew that i was going to stay with basketball mm -hmm. but like i said it, that god he was dealing with me which you know it was something i knew that i was called to do something else mm -hmm. I, I just felt i was called to do something else mm -hmm. and i've always been a very artistic and creative person you know growing up always drawing so it, it was a shock to some people but to my family, I don't think it was a major shock because they always knew I was someone that would love to draw. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's really that's really interesting because the, uh, the gentleman I interviewed the other day, he wasn't he was a lawyer, but his company creates trading cards for Christian children, and he's he's having this tremendous success. And I said, "Well, you're a lawyer. How did you come to doing these three D graphics?" graphics and so forth. He said, well, my undergraduate degree is in art. <laughs> you know, so, wow. yeah, so, uh, you know, he was so happy when God turned it, you know, full circle, turned him back toward, he said he always hoped that he would be able to go back to doing the work that he really enjoyed in, as an artist. So, um, so his life took a little bit of a detour, you know, and he yeah. went on and, and became a lawyer, but then now he's working with a team of artists and graphic artists, and they do they do the level of art that you see in the the movies and the video games. You know, wow. yeah, yeah. So I, you know, so it's interesting that you would say that your family wasn't really surprised because they knew that you really liked art and to be creative and drawing, and so you're staying with your passion. So that's great. Yes, yes, that's great. Well, why don't you describe your products? Okay. Right now, I'm actually selling shirts and it's doing very well because I've had this idea for going on four years, but I just started actually in last December. That's when it burst out. Okay. But since I started in December, my shirts have actually been, been uh, selling very well. 
Okay. Uh, people in Atlanta, New Jersey, uh, even California. So it, it is really spreading very quickly, even through the ministries around this Greensboro, North Carolina area. Mm -hmm. it, it's doing very well with the help of God. 